Morning HMS 7, great to see everyone back here on a Monday morning. Again, our main focus of Jumpstart is to reflect and work on practicing seven habits of highly effective people. Again, habits are something we repeatedly do. We have to do them over time, not something that you practice one time. As I would say to anybody, all of us can be great one time, but truly great people, truly successful people can do these things repeatedly each and every day. Starts with being proactive, running up against a problem and finding a solution. Instead of quitting, I think, what have I not tried yet? This is hard, this might take a little time and effort. It moves on to prioritizing things in your life, putting first things first. Knowing what your big rock here is when you come into school. Again, number two, that habit number two, that is putting your academics first when you walk in here. The third one, beginning with that end in mind, is having that goal to be successful in life. We don't know exactly, you don't know exactly where you're gonna be in 20 years, but if you set a goal to be successful, the rest will fall in place if you start to practice these habits. Win-win, <clears throat> that's that philosophy of helping other people, and by helping other people, I can help myself. We move into number five, which is that listening philosophy, that idea that when you give someone your full attention, if you get the thing you're working on, the person you're talking to the full, your full attention with your eyes, your ears, your heart, you will be more successful, you will make them happier, you will learn more, you will think deeper. Synergizing, working together with one another, that belief that more people working towards a common goal solves a problem better. Number seven that we're focusing on right now, sharpening the saw. Again, these are habits that we can all practice. They're also habits that if you practice and you perfect them or you're striving towards perfection, each and every day you're growing, there are no limits. But by practicing these habits, you're the driver of your own life. You are in control of your own life. You get the opportunity to make your own rules when you're following those habits. People are not telling you what to do. If you're practicing these each and every day, you're proactive, you're sharpening your saw, you can name all this. If you do this, you get to tell yourself what to do. You are the leader. It's the leader in me. We all have the ability to be a leader. It's not always the loudest person in the room, as I like to say even though I'm a very loud person. You can be a leader without being loud. Practice those seven habits, you'll be able to tell yourself what to do. Sharpening your saw, we're gonna to focus today, again, on the mind and body. I want you to briefly think for the next 10 seconds of ways you can sharpen your mind, make your mind stronger, because your mind, as we talk about with a growth mindset, is like a muscle. And the more we exercise our mind, the sharper and the better it becomes. I'll let you think about that here for a second. I think the key here when thinking about how to sharpen your mind is learning new things. Bottom line, by learning new things, your mind will grow, it will become strong, it will become healthy. I know you can't see your brain, but if you go through brain scans of people that research this, just by simply sleeping right, eating right, reading, learning new things, your mind will become stronger. You will sharpen it. And that moves into the body. I want you to think about ways to sharpen your body. Those ways, sleep. I know many of you probably hear me talking about this and you start laughing, but getting sleep is extremely important. You need to be getting between nine and 10 hours a day. If you can't get that, if you can get seven or eight, that's acceptable, but nine to 10 is the benchmark at your age right now. Eat better, put a little color on your plate, fruits, vegetables, proteins, and then exercise. We get plenty of exercise going up and down the stairs. If you think about eight times four, that's the amount of time you get going up and down those stairs throughout the day. Don't look at that as, oh my gosh, I see you guys walking up there going, uh, uh, uh. It's like The Walking Dead, that show that used to be on there. Take a positive mindset about that. That's your exercise for the day. Then you get into PE or weights, you go to sports, you're getting it knocked out here during your school day. But those are ways to sharpen your mind, sharpen your body, Apply that growth mindset to it, knowing that you're making your brain and your body stronger. Important announcements here. On Tuesday, we have a track meet. We'll be running periods five through eight. You'll still report to your home room on Tuesday morning, but then you'll go directly to your fifth period. We'll go five through eight, and then lunch will be after that. That is on Tuesday. Think about that as on Tuesday, that half day, we'll continue to remind you of that. Monday, if I back up one day as our six week schedule change, you'll be looking at those via Skyward to see that fourth hour change you might have coming on. And then on Wednesday, we have our ELA state testing. Again, same drill as before. 
save when you're done in first hour and move on, knock that out. We want to see you give your best effort on that ELA state test. That mind is a muscle. We get an opportunity, and again, all that state test is is a way for us to see how you've grown throughout the year. We want to measure your growth so that next year when you move into eighth grade, we can get you into the right classes. We want to measure your growth, give your best effort on that so we can get you where you need to be next year when you move into eighth grade. We love you guys. Can't wait to see you around here on a Monday.